Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a stacked bar chart of a single variable using RStudio and specifically I'm using an R kernel of uh, R4.2 but this probably also works for lower versions. Um, this is in the lower right corner you can see the kind of diagram I'm going to create. So for that I'll need to load in some data. I'm going to uh, use the General Social Survey 2012 data, slightly adjusted for the purposes of these examples. So let's load that in, Control enter And the field I'm going to be using is the, uh, whether or not accounting was scientific. And my data is therefore just from my data, uh, the, that particular field. So let's load these two in. The first thing I need are the frequencies, the counts, so I'm going to be using the table function for that and that should give me just an overview of how often each option was selected. So looking at this, the not so scientific um, two are in the 300s, while the pretty scientifics are in the 100 to 200, so the majority is thinking not so scientific. We'll might be using the length so the number of categories so you can use the length function for that so that k over here I can see is 4. Now the bar chart you can create simply the bar plot function and just to be sure I'm converting the data into a matrix and that gives me a stacked bar chart immediately. Uh, just to be sure it's stacked I can add beside equals false so that it indeed will be forced to put the two on top of each other. Nothing actually changed because it's in this case the default. Now this doesn't really look like the one I had earlier so we need to make a few uh, uh, additions. The first thing is uh, to add the legend to the chart so you can say legend text equals the row names of my frequencies table and that should add at least the legend so I know which column is actually which. Um, the position of the legend is quite tricky uh, there are plenty of tutorials online and different ways of actually uh, adjusting it this is just for a simplistic version and I'm just gonna let uh, R decide where to put it and how to put it. Um, I do perhaps want to rotate the whole thing because now it's uh, quite relatively thin uh, going upward so if I wanted to I could use the um, sorry the uh, the horizontal yeah uh, is true um, rather than false so that it puts the whole thing horizontal all right so now it starts to look a little bit more like the one I had in the beginning um, let's add some colors in by using the color parameter with heat colors and then K. You can of course adjust this to some other colors if you like, but this looks pretty nice to me. Then uh, the labels, not to forget, it's always good to label all your axes. So the X uh, lab, which is actually uh, the horizontal one here now so that's the count and the height is just the name of the variable so in this case I had that stored under field so now I should actually have uh, a diagram similar like the one I started with if you want to see instead of the counts the percentages what you can do is simply divide those frequencies by the sum of all the frequencies multiplied by a hundred and then use percent instead of frequencies in the same code as earlier and then that should give you a percentage version and that's the one I showed at the beginning. Alright, uh, that's um, a quick instruction on how to create a stack bar chart of a single variable uh, using R. Hope this was helpful and thank you for watching. 